Everybody knows Jamaican sprinter Brianna Williams who competes in the 100 meters and 200 meters. Williams is one of the most promising young sprinters in the world. She is still only 21 years old but she has already achieved a great deal in her career. In 2021, Williams made her Olympic debut at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. She competed in the 4 by 100 meter relay where she led off the Jamaican team to win gold. She also holds silver medals at the 2022 and 2023 World Championships in the 4 by 100 meter relay. Brianna Williams is known for her explosive start out of the blocks, which has been dubbed her bullet start. Her trademark start is characterized by her quick reaction time, powerful leg drive, and efficient arm swing. Williams's start is often compared to that of the icon Shelly Ann Fraser Price, the Jamaican Olympic and World Championship superstar in the 100 meters. Fraser Price is globally known for her explosive start, and she has credited her success to her focus on the first 20 meters of the race. In September 2022, Brianna Williams made a significant decision by joining the Titans International Track Club in Kingston, Jamaica. Her purpose was to undergo training under the guidance of Gregory Little and the tutelage of Olympian Michael Freighter. This pivotal move came after a mutual agreement between her and her longtime coach and mentor, Otto Bolden, to part ways. Williams thanked Bolden for his guidance over the years and expressed excitement about training with Titans Track Club in Jamaica. The club boasts athletes of the caliber of 2011 World Championships 100-meter gold medalist, and Olympic Games 100-meter and 200-meter silver medalist Johan Blake, as well as rising star Akeem Blake and other budding Jamaican and international athletes. So how was her 2023 season in her new environment and experience? Let's have a look. She had a hamstring injury in January, which forced her to miss the start of the indoor season. However, the Titans International Star opened her account in impressive style over 60 meters at the Camperdown Classic at the National Stadium in Kingston on Saturday night, February 11th. Williams clocked a fast 7.22 seconds to win the dash ahead of Legacy Athletics' Jura Levy, who ran 7.34 seconds. After just five months training in Jamaica, Williams said, I am just happy to be here to start the season adding that her training has been going well and they have been working on endurance in the last part of races, plus other things that will make her better for the coming season. In the biggest anticipated 60 meters clash on February 25, 2023, between several of Jamaica's rising star female sprinters, Brianna Williams, Kemba Nelson and Tina Clayton, now turned professional, the excitement was high leading up to the 50th anniversary of the Gibson McCook relays at the National Stadium in Kingston. However, excitement soon turned to disappointment as the news broke that Brianna Williams had withdrawn from the 60 meters dash at the Gibson McCook relays. Her camp cited a precautionary measure after Brianna started feeling some discomfort in training. This was definitely an unwanted setback for Brianna, which ultimately altered her training plans and caused her to miss competitions. However, die-hearted fans were full of support and encouragement. At the MVP Velocity Fest 12 in Kingston, Jamaica, the 200-meter B-Final had two of Jamaica's rising sprint stars, Brianna Williams, who celebrated her 21st birthday on Tuesday. March 21st, an 18-year-old Tina Clayton, the world under 2100 meter champion. Williams and Clayton were meeting for the first time as professionals and are two of the most promising young sprinters in Jamaica. As to how fit Williams was for this matchup was yet to be seen. Clayton running inside Williams surged past her elder rival midway the curve and extended her lead once she hit the straight before going on to win in 23.69 seconds. Williams, who got a poor start and ran a poor curve, tightened up down the stretch and was passed by Indian sprinter Shabandi Nanda, who finished second in 23.98 seconds, forcing the Jamaican to settle for third in a disappointing 24.03 seconds. The struggle was real for both athletes, but the push to overcome setbacks, work on mental toughness, and come back stronger was the big winner. Fans were relieved when Brianna Williams showed up at the MVP Velocity Fest 13 in Kingston. She finished second in Heat 3 in the 100 meters with a time of 11.34 seconds. 
She was behind Natasha Morrison, who won the race with a time of 11.08 seconds. Williams did not show for the A-finals which was won by Sharika Jackson in a meet record time of 10.82 seconds. Williams' performance in her heat at the Velocity Fest 13 was a good sign of her progress after returning from a hamstring injury. Fan were hoping she was pulled from the finals just as a precaution, however the official news from her coach Gregory Little was that Williams had to pull out of the event after complaining of tightness in her hamstring. At the all-comers meet on May 13, 2023 in Jamaica, Brianna Williams went up against a 100-meter field in Heat 1, that included Jodine Williams, Kashika Cameron and veteran Ramona Birchall. Brianna entered the competition late causing the race to be delayed a bit. Birchall eventually won the race with a time of 11.19 seconds, while Williams finished second in 11.38 seconds. In a thrilling 100-meter race, Brianna Williams faced off against her formidable opponent, Alana Reed, the reigning world, under, 2200-meter bronze medalist. Williams burst from the blocks with an explosive start, initially maintaining a comfortable lead over Reed. However, Reed launched a remarkable comeback in the latter part of the race, ultimately securing victory in 11.16 seconds. Despite her valiant effort, Williams finished in second place with a season-best time of 11.20 seconds, while Tia Clayton took third place in 11.36 seconds. Slated to run the 100 meters at the Los Angeles Grand Prix on May 27 in her first overseas meet of the season, Brianna did not finish her race. It was not clear what was the reason or if it was another injury concern. Back in Jamaica, Brianna Williams finished third in the 100-meter B race at the Racers Grand Prix on June 3, 2023 in Kingston, Jamaica. It was another test of speed endurance for her as she drove from the blocks and initially led the field. However, the powerfully built Ramona Birchall stormed past her with Tia Clayton following. Birchall won the race in 11.17 seconds and Tia Clayton in 11.23 seconds. Williams was third in 11.30 seconds, which had spectators lamenting how she was struggling to hold her form. On the other hand, it was great to see her finish the race healthy and run herself into shape. Up to this point, Brianna Williams spent the whole year acclimatizing to new programs and battling injuries. Her coaches highlighted she has been putting in the work at training, but her efforts has not fully manifested yet for much of the current season. So her inspiring effort of 11.21 seconds over 100 meters at the all-comers meet number four, held on June 10th at the Jamaica College Ashenheim Stadium in Kingston, was very encouraging. She had her usual solid start and post-race features suggest she was rounding into form at the right time before the Jamaican National Athletic Trials. The race was won by Joni L. Smith, who ran a time of 11.13 seconds. She was followed by Natasha Morrison in second place, 11.18 seconds, and Brianna Williams in third. Fans were cheering loudly when Brianna Williams made a remarkable comeback to form on Saturday, June 17, securing victory in her women's 100 meters heat. With a new season best time of 11.04 seconds at the Budapest Quest meet at the National Stadium, Williams dug deep and the 21-year-old produced a remarkable effort to emerge the victor in the 100-meter that was run over seven sections. It was a significant drop from her previous best of 11.21 seconds, run on June 10th and she could not contain her joy and relief after the race. Second was Kimba Nelson who clocked 11.18 seconds while Ramona Birchall was third with 11.20 seconds. Brimming with renewed confidence, Brianna Williams finished second in the 100 meters at the NYC Grand Prix on June 24, 2023, in New York City. She ran a time of 11.04 seconds, which equaled her season's best. She was behind Aaliyah Hobbs, who won the race in 10.98 seconds. Williams' performance at the NYC Grand Prix was a sign of her progress after returning from injury early season and acclimatizing to a new club and training programs. 
She just put herself in a great position to challenge for a spot on the team at the upcoming Jamaica National Athletic Championships. Brianna Williams' 100-meter performance at the 2023 Jamaican Championships was a mixed bag. She ran 11.19 seconds in her heat to place second, 11.22 seconds in her semifinals to place third, and another season's best of 11.01 seconds in the final to finish fourth. Her fourth-place finish automatically qualified her for a spot on the 4 by 100 meter relay team. She did not compete in the 200 meters due to injury precautions. Williams' performance in the 100-meter final was a positive sign as she was able to run her fastest time of the season despite not being at 100% fitness. She was also able to beat several top Jamaican sprinters, including the legendary Elaine Thompson Hira who placed fifth in the race in a time of 11.06 seconds. Overall, Williams' performance at the Jamaican Championship showed that she has the potential to be one of the best sprinters in the world. She is always a confident person, but she also needs to stay healthy in order to reach her full potential. With the focus to stay race sharp leading into the upcoming World Championships, Williams headed to Europe to participate in her first of several track meets. She finished seventh in the women's 200-meter race at the July Isvan Memorial, Hungarian Athletics Grand Prix on July 18, 2023, with a time of 23.38 seconds. She finished behind winner Sharika Jackson of Jamaica, 22.02 seconds. Two days after the July Isvan Memorial, Brianna Williams headed to Switzerland to race at the Spitzen like Tathletic Luzern meeting on July 20. She finished 8th in the women's 100-meter race with a time of 11.35 seconds, which was 0.53 seconds behind the winner, Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Still in Europe, Germany, Brianna Williams won the women's 100-meter race at the True Athletes Classics 2023 meeting on July 29, 2023, with a time of 11.38 seconds. She finished ahead of Brie Masters of Australia, 11.39 seconds, and Lisa Marie Quay of Germany, 11.53 seconds. Earlier in the meet, she won her heat in a time of 11.46 seconds. In their 4x100 meters relay heat, the quartet of Brianna Williams, Elaine Thompson Hira, Shashali Forbes, and Shelly Ann Fraser Price ran a season's best time of 41.70 seconds. Williams was not selected to run in the finals, however, the Jamaican team went on to claim the silver medal in the final of the event, which also presented Williams with a 4x100 meter world championship silver medal. In her first 100 meters race after the World Championships in Budapest, Hungary, where she earned a well-deserved medal in the 4 by 100 meter relay, Williams lined up at the meeting Sita di Padova in Italy. She finished the race in a time of 11.39 seconds for third, behind Natasha Morrison who won in 11.15 seconds and the American Twanisha Terry got second with 11.21 seconds. In her final race of a long season filled with ups and downs, trials and tests and learning curves, Brianna Williams finished in fifth place in the women's 100-meter race at the 59. Palio Sita, Della Quercia meeting on September 6, 2023, with a time of 11.22 seconds. She again finished behind Natasha Morrison of Jamaica, 11.00 seconds, Twana Shateri of the United States, 11.06 seconds. She took to her social media pages and gave thanks to all her fans and well-wishers and looked forward to a well-needed season's break. Brianna Williams' 2023 season was marked by both challenges and successes. She overcame injuries and a new training environment to perform at her best at the Jamaican trials and earn a silver medal in the 4x100-meter relay at the World Championships. 
She finished her season injury-free, setting her up for a strong 2024 season. All the best to this promising young sprinter. Thanks for watching.